Hey, this is a tutorial on how to install and set up one of the best and most customizable free crosshair software overlays out there that's compatible with any full screen game. Now, go into the description of this video and click on the first link. You'll be taken to this GitHub website page. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see this hyperlink named Download Crossover for Windows. Click on it once and the file should start downloading immediately. Now, once the app has finished downloading, press your Windows button and search Crossover. Launch the app and it should appear in the center of your screen like this. Next, what you want to do is you want to press Ctrl Alt Shift X exactly in that order. And now the overlay software has disappeared and you only see the crosshair itself. This is how you'll be playing the game. To return the crosshair overlay, you do exactly again as followed. Control, Alt, Shift and X. Now this software overlay is quite useful as you have quite a lot of options you can use. Here in the crosshair settings you can choose a crosshair they have a built-in section of any different selection you want. These ones are usually typically quite bad. These are just more depending on your taste. I would recommend using these crosshair, the crosshair broken. These ones are quite good and also the crosshair symbols. If you're feeling like it, use the dot outline. Whatever is for your preference. For the sake of, for the sake of simplicity, I'll be using the amethyst cross. Now, in the settings as well, you will see you can change the crosshair size and the crosshair opacity. You want to keep the opacity at 100% as this is a transparency of the image and you want it to be as clear as possible for you. For the size, I'd recommend going between, say, 20 and 50, as these should be the most comfortable sizes. You can also use a custom crosshair, but this is more for advanced people if you do have one. The reticle, I would say keep it on cross, dots and no reticle, doesn't really make a difference. The color, also preference. Reticle scale, doesn't have much of an impact at all. The other settings are pretty much irrelevant, I wouldn't bother with them, unless you're trying to have an exact position you want to position your crosshair. Maybe if you're using a custom resolution. The crosshair actions also aren't that really useful, this is just for more specific use cases. The key buttons are very important, here you see the lock crosshair in place one that we just used, Control shift alt x remember in that order, the center crosshair, Control shift alt c which is also useful, and then the show and hide crosshair if you ever want to just turn the crosshair off for any other reason. The change display is for people with multiple monitors, and those are all the, I would say, useful keybinds. The system app settings, just the app size, these are all depending on preference. I would say you put the color scheme to dark mode as it just makes the app look better and it will also look better on your monitor. The auto updates I would say keep all these on and then important this is also quite useful run app on system start. If you enable this you can just use the turn crosshair off and on with Control shift alt h constantly and then about also just more information about the app itself and yeah there we go this is my updated guide on what i believe to be the best crosshair software application out there at the moment it's free and very light doesn't have any other input latency which i can see and yeah i hope you guys enjoy it Looking at many of the frequently asked questions in my previous crosshair overlay video, I saw many people complaining about not being able to see the crosshair or disappearing or not coming up once they're in game. So here are some important things to keep in mind. This may sound stupid, but just test if you have not hidden the crosshair. Just always be mindful of that. In this case, it's Control, Alt, Shift, and H. There you go, crosshair is back. Also, this is very important, make sure to launch the crosshair overlay only after the game or software that you want to be using is already open, otherwise it may not work. Thank you.